All right, now that we've just started recording, uh, we're going to welcome everyone to Dungeons and Dragons, the pre recorded Dungeons and Dragons adventure between me, Tim, Joseph, and our friends Matt and Amanda. Uh, a few things to that I've already said before I started recording, but this is our first Dungeons and Dragons, uh, our first foray into Dungeons and Dragons. It's our first time we were D and D virgins before this, and uh, a few things to keep in mind with that is you know we did start on level ten for this for some reason because we thought that would be easier when in fact it was not easier because we had no idea what we were doing, and also that the DM Amanda probably didn't read the campaign before doing this, and that's fine. She just didn't know anything about what was coming exactly like we did, which is fine. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up now and play us some D&D. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to a world, a world of dungeons, a world of dragons. Welcome to the Let's Play of Dungeons and Dragons. Let's go around the table and introduce ourselves. I'm Amanda. I'm the ever-present DM. My name is Tim Sutton, and I have never played this game before in my life. I'm playing Dr. Tam Shambles, who is a very awful cleric. <laughs> and I am Joseph Balls Deep Delage, playing Dougal Big Fist. He has very few proficiencies. But he's very good at speaking fist. Troy is not with us at this moment. He will be joining us shortly. Uh, so we'll just skip over him and let him talk about himself once he gets here. And lastly... Uh, I'm Matt. I'm playing Tristan Silver, the ambiguous rogue of the party. Fantastic. So without further ado, shall we get started? Yes. Okay. DM. If you want. You have received an urgent summons to the hall of Lord Randall Morn, ruler of Daggerdale. Randall Morn has governed the war-torn Dale for more than four years now. Under his wise guidance, much of the damage done by decades-long Zen occupation has been repaired, and the folk of Daggerdale have begun to prosper again. The heroic story of Randall Morn's resistance against the Zets and the restoration to his throne is widely known throughout the Dale lands. The Lord Daggerdale does not stand on ceremony, and he personally greets you at the doors of his hall. Leading you into a comfortable study lined with bookshelf, he calls for refreshments. I thank, you com I thank you for coming so quickly, he begins. I heard that your company was passing through the area, and you have a reputation as courageous problem solvers. Well, I think I have a problem that needs solving. Seven days ago, a band of uh, uh, drow raiders... Uh, raided several farms and freeholds about 10 miles south of here. A number of people were killed and the marauders caused much damage. Local militia tracked the drow band to the vicinity of an old set of crypts on the western edge of Dagger Hills. Rumor has it that those crypts conceal an entrance to the Underdark. Three nights ago, the drow raiders returned and caused even more damage. I think the time has come for some experienced and capable adventurers to put a stop to these raids. We haven't had trouble with the drow in Daggerdale for hundreds of years, and I have no idea what, what has stirred them up now. Can you help me? Well, I can tell you what stirred them up. Your people have turned away from our one true uh, lord and, uh, um, well, our one true lord, Talos, really. He's, um... What do I roll to slap the uh, evangelical cleric? Uh, D20. D20. Yep. Eight. The, well, eight the, plus your attack. Twenty. Oh, oh wait, you hit him. My attack is twelve. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, Does a well, twenty hit you? You're flat footed. The uh, flat. What? Is it twenty-one? No, I don't. <laughs> you, you don't. You miss. <laughs> you miss right. hitting. Continue with what you were saying, Jared. <laughs> Please. Pardon that terrible interruption. I apologize yeah, for I'm, my... I'm just going to go ahead and put my hand on his mouth and be like, what's in it for us? You know, what, what's, what's in it for us? I'm willing to pay you 5,000 gold. Deal. So. I had more to say, but I guess if you're willing nope. to just take the 5,000, that's good. We're good with money. Apparently we're good. We have low, we have low standards. Yeah, we have a Talos follower. Y'all are my kind <laughs> of adventurers. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so just point us towards these drow and we'll get to kill them. 
All right, well, you'll take a, um, you'll take the road south of town um, to Dagger Falls. Is there a map? And the Dorinian Crypts lie there. Daggerdale, Dagger, Dagger map. Falls. Good map. Board. Map. There's no map. He gives you a map. Oh, God, okay. All right, we got a map. <laughs> take the road. It goes I, straight south. I can speak a lot of languages, but I can't read, so you guys are going to be in charge of that. Okay. All right. I got the map. Before so. you, the trail winds past a low, rounded hill dotted with jutting boulders and dense briar patches. Sere grasses crown the barren slopes. Beyond the first rampart, a long chain of rugged hills stretches away to the south and to the east, the Dagger Hills. The trail turns here and continues Who's south. Who's naming these places? The west side. Side. Hold on a second. The more. How do... It's a major oh, industry oh, in these parts. That's they only make daggers around here. Dude, they would part of the hills. hills. The dagger falls, dagger hills, dagger hills. Ah. Two old small stone buildings stand here in the shadow of the hill. The ruined shells of several more lie nearby, overgrown with tough brown grass. A niche has been cut in the hillside just past the surface buildings. Within it, a stone door stands closed in a masonry alcove. Oh, man. Okay, I, th uh, I think we found the crypts, uh, and okay. I'm pretty sure that that big door on the back is the door. I want to the mountain. I want to perceive the door. What do I do? Spot. <laughs> I, Spot I mean, check. What, what, what do I roll to like check for traps or locks or anything? Well, like you that. you have fun with that. I'm just gonna watch. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I uh, I enter with. No regard for my safety or those around me. Oh, I'm not going anywhere near him. As he There's starts, a door there, as he so starts, you stand in front of the door. Yeah, well, no, I want to burst in. Just okay. Burst. How are you going to do that? How, yeah. how do you burst? What are you doing? I just want to charge the door. Just, like, open the door with authority to announce <laughs> my presence to anyone that wants okay, to. Okay, well, it doesn't open. <sighs> my hand hurts. <laughs> well, do you want me to open the door? Because, I mean... I, I kind of know how to open doors. I want to punch it. Okay. D D All right. Uh, it, he automatically hits. Eight, Eighteen roll. to its armor class. No, you just rolled a you just rolled damage on the door. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, with my fist, I do nine damage to the door. Okay. It cracks a little bit at the top. How did you do that? <laughs> Because my is five gauntlets. It or cracks a bit at the top. The, it's D3 plus what? Six plus one. Huh? Six plus one. My strength modifier is oh, six. And shit. And plus one. Okay. It's I punch really good. good. I said <laughs> that. Like, I it cracks really a little really bit hard. at the top. All right. I'm see doing the it door again. is kind of thick. I want to do it again. Do it again. Again, nine damage. It cracks a little more. All right. We're making headway. All right. While he's doing this, I'm going to make a... I'm gonna make a spot check and see if there's anything interesting going on around. Nine me. damage again. I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, twenty-five for a spot for anything interesting. Um, you don't see anything interesting in your vicinity. I just did another nine damage. Other than the dwarf yeah. punching a stone door. <laughs> I've got this heavy mace. Can he borrow it? He's stronger than me. No, I'm good. I'm good with my fist. Okay. Oh. He can just well, punch it. Like, it's then just keep fisting the door. <laughs> The door. A, uh, a thought occurs. Uh, I'd like to speak to the door and be like, hey, open. Okay. In what language? Does, in what language? In, in fist. <laughs> <laughs> Ten damage. Okay. <laughs> Does it listen? It's almost halfway cracked. No, it doesn't hear you. <sighs> Okay, well, while he's doing this, I'm going to look. Does it have any visible locks or mechanisms that mm -hmm. I can see? Okay. How do we know it's a door? It could just be like a stone thing that right. I'm just punching. <laughs> we'll find out once you finish punching it, Spanky. Maybe he well, should look like, like a lever or something like that. Uh, ten damage again. <laughs> I'm going to search. And uh, there's a search of fifteen for locks and mechanisms. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Curse this door! I did another 10 well, damage, by the way. I'm going to, uh... <laughs> can I take a 10? Can I take a 10? While I'm searching for locks and mechanisms. Yeah, you don't see anything. <laughs> there are no locks or mechanisms! There are no locks! Any locks or mechanisms have already been crushed under my burly fists. Alright, whatever. Well, while he's doing this, what, what else is around us? What else is around us? 
Um, more road, some other rundown looking crypt things. Were we Most asked, of them in ruins. Were we any of them not in ruins? No. Really? Were we escorted by anyone, or did we just kind of no. come on our own? We just kind of walked on the road. Just hit the dang door again, you're fixing to get through it. Alright, uh, eight again. Alright, yeah, you got it. The yes! door breaks! <laughs> uh, the stone has crumbled under my Balls Deep's mighty fist. No, it's no. big fist. Whatever. Deep fist. Balls Deep is his real name. Come on. Whatever. I get confused. I can't read. Alright, big fist. Okay. All right. Big fist wins again. Um, you've gotten through the great stone double doors that bar the entrance to an ancient mausoleum. These doors may have once worn an inscription or crest, but centuries of wind and rain have erased such markings, just as they have slowly eroded the structure in the building itself, leaving cracked walls and crumb crumbling mortar in their wake. Though coated, though coated with dust, this large stone chamber has clearly not lain undisturbed since its crafting. Human refuse is strewn around the room as if this place has served as a campsite for more than one group of traveler bandits or grave robbers. Four closed doors, like shit in here. Four closed doors lead out of the chamber. Uh, I'm gonna make a, a spot check and see what else is in there before I even step through. Do you see anything with a 19? You see nothing. I don't see anything. Okay. Like literally, I see nothing <laughs> at all. Okay. At all, ever. Uh, no decorations, no nothing. Just I buy nothing. Nothing. It's just a uh, ton. how how recent do these <clears throat> does the refuse look? Like, are we talking like they're Twinkie wrappers still with like half a Twinkie in it? Or is this like, just, they haven't been there in a while? Um, there are things from varying degrees of time, mm -hmm. from really old, hardened refuge to Twinkie wrappers that look like they're still ants eating off their Okay, ants. so someone's here. Uh, I, I wonder how they got the door open without my fists. Um, uh, well, while he's pondering, I'm just <laughs> going to look for, like, mechanisms. I'm taking all the time it requires to find something. Of mechanisms? Yeah. Locks. You know, shit like that. You don't find any locks, but you do see that the lids of the coffins do not rest squarely upon them. Mm -hmm. Scratch marks are visible, suge suggesting that the lids have been removed, probably with crowbars. Each heavy stone lid weighs about 600 pounds. Two sh uh, oh. What, you don't have one? No. You don't mind? I don't have anything. So. Okay. Yeah, That's do. it. That's all you got. I don't have room in my armor with this mace. You have a backpack. Okay, I'm going to buy a thing sure. with straps. I know you're not Just that smart, ahead. but there's that thing have with straps we... on your back. That's a backpack. <laughs> have we been <laughs> through the mausoleum yet, or are we just kind of standing outside? Or... I don't know. Okay, I enter the mausoleum if we haven't already. I, I already did because I went and searched and okay. looked for stuff. Well, I thought you were saying that like you hadn't, uh, you hadn't even entered. You know, I, I, went this, I went in this search. Uh, I'm gonna run in after him. I, I will trot in after him. I would like to uh, call out. All right, this is what your mausoleum looks uh, like. Okay. All right. That uh, right. is that. I, I where see we. A square. Right there. Okay. There's two to the south and one on the east, one on the west. All right. Uh, can I? Call, uh, I just call out to the darkness. Hey, you're tracking ants from the candy and shit. That's on While the he does that, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> does the thing respond or anything? nothing happens? This is. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go up to the first door that I see, mm -hmm. which I can't really see the map, so. I don't know where that Here. is. So, right there. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to this one right here. The the eastern door. Yeah, that one. I'm gonna go to the eastern door, and okay. uh, I'm going to search it for traps. Okay. Yes. I have a fail. I can fail at that. <laughs> um, twenty-four. Doesn't seem like a fail. No, you don't see any traps. Okay. Or maybe they're just really elaborate tracks. Is the I turn it, around suddenly, hearing another person enter. Oh, hey. <laughs> Troy, uh, what is what is your name of both you and your character, and give it a sentence. Troy, what is my name? Yeah, Troy, what is your name? <laughs> and we're giving introductions to you. Well, we missed the introduction. Oh, have we not started yet? No, yeah, we, we have. have. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Okay. I'll, I'll I was like, hey, I looked out pretty well. Uh, I am I am Magnus McManus. 
level 10 of the rogues. Okay. Uh, <coughs> the rogues. I, I turn <laughs> around and greet you heartily. Hello, Magnus, my friend. Do we, do we have to roll for, like, bro handshake? No. You can just bro handshake. Yeah. Wow, for free, huh? We, <laughs> <STM>. <laughs> 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 I pull out a bro fist. Wow, well, look at all that bro fist. I, I, I accept your bro fist heartily. You bro fist my spike gauntlet. <laughs> How much damage did I just take? <laughs> take so much damage. Ten damage. damage. <laughs> just ten damage. <laughs> you take ten I'm, damage from your brain, man. I'm I'm off to a great start. <laughs> so <laughs> what's what is going on? So some guy somehow and, you managed to find us in this mausoleum that yeah, yeah. Joseph just spent like five minutes punching. <laughs> yeah, we door. Had, there's a big stone door that wouldn't open, so I just punched it to death. Okay, I'll just you know yeah. Let's just go. Some, Let's go. We're in Dagger Hills next to Dagger Falls and Daggerdale. <laughs> I'm mean, not even kidding. That's actually the names of these places. It's a good thing I have a dagger with me then. Yeah. I think. No, you have a oh, no. Cooper Blue. Cooper. 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 It's, it's a dagger. It's totally a dagger. It's Dagger Y. It's anyway, a thin dagger. dagger. Yeah. Anyway, tell me, like, somebody broke his dagger. So, so he's uh, impotent. So Tristan over here is impotently trying to, like, check for traps and stuff. I'm getting stuff done with my fist. Okay. <laughs> well, you, uh, I'm going to go ahead and step out your way, and I'm going to move about. Uh, 15 feet this way. Okay. Go ahead. Open the door. West. I, would, west, I, I would like to open the eastern door. <clears throat> How are you going to try to open it? With, with the handle. I don't have to punch everything. <laughs> punch, punch the handle. There's handle. no handle. There's no handle. I punch it. <laughs> what kind of door is this? Can he, when he punches it, does it move? How much damage do you do? damage. You break it, it grubbles. You're inside. See? Again. <laughs> the power of violence. <laughs> so far we've learned that Punching doors is the effective way of opening them. <laughs> it's the it's only door handles. I'm I'm that's what happens when you don't put handles on your door. A large yeah. stone sarcophagus rests in the center of this otherwise bare room. Unlike the outer chamber, this room shows no sign of habitation and dust lies thick on the floor and on the carved lid of the stone coffin. You should punch open the sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, this is 600. I've got a crowbar. No, I, I have that. We, we all have. I just have a feeling. Oh, we all have crowbars now? Well, I mean, it's part of just. We're adventurers. What the fuck are you doing in here? Without a crowbar. I okay. I remember. I'm gonna say I remember my crowbar. <laughs> I remember. My I, oh yeah, I got. I, I, I step right up here. to the sarcophagus and knock on it. Okay. Does anyone answer inside? It's like everything is done with his fists. No. Okay. Everything. <laughs> Your <laughs> fists rule the game. I would like to open the sarcophagus and just for treasures. <laughs> All right. What's your? Shit. You, what would you like to do? Pick up the sarcophagus lid? Yeah. Again, I'm You pick it up, 15, you move it, it's off. Fifteen feet away. What, what do I see inside? Anything of interest or just um probably I mean you <laughs> inside you see the, You should have just made it out this uh, way. Decayed corpse to bare skeletons. Um anything of value has either decomposed or been taken by grave robbers. There's nothing in there but you're seeing skeletons. Can we change it to where it actually is Magnus McManus? Can we make it me? Like just reverse yeah. all the other stuff. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> so you don't lose time. I don't I don't lose HP. You you just open up my sarcophagus and there's Magnus McManus. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Magnus, my friend. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No wait, Magnus wait, is wait, in wait. the car. Time out. Time out. How do you know the guy that's in a in a coffin? We, He's we my were roommates. We met at a party. <laughs> well, a dagger. It party. must have been one hell of a party. You're in a fucking coffin. I'm homeless. <laughs> oh, right. I found. All right. And now we know the source of the Twinkie wrappers in the yeah. outer room. There yeah. we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there was <laughs> refuse in there, and I asked how recently there were Twinkies. The Twinkies. Uh, yeah. I've Twinkies McManus. and refuse is what we found. Magnus McManus really likes Twinkies. So. And refuse. And refuse. Imagine refuse doesn't I, I eat Twinkies and <laughs> So inside you find Madness McManus who does not throw fist you. <laughs> Even though I hold up my fist. I, I, I hugged him. Oh. 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 I hugged Adorable. him and glared me at you. I roll for being dejected. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dejected. Uh, what else is in the room? I mean, we found the best some part. Cobbler. <laughs> some cobwebs. Some cobwebs. Oh, some some, cobble. some, some cobbler. McManus <laughs> <laughs> is just living it up. I would like to eat He's the got cobbler. Did you not hear us <laughs> trying to break open the door over here? <laughs> Roll to eat. Uh, Roll to eat. Roll to eat the cobbler. Fifteen. You eat the cobbler. <laughs> it is delicious. It's, it's covered like, in cobwebs and or spiders on the inside. I, I was care. saving I that. <laughs> I was saving that to age it to perfection, and you ate my cobbler. <laughs> 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 I, I guess that uh, there's nothing in here, so let's 
Well, I mean, you know, just Joseph. Have, what What do you do? What are you good at doing? Uh, sensing motives. Oh, okay. Well, what's my motivation? And not handling animals. And <laughs> staying disguising. And I have a really high escape artist, but I was stuck in a sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> you can get you out. weren't stuck. <laughs> you were just, you just didn't have the strength to lift the lid off where right. your bros left <laughs> you, you after that last You were hiding in there to escape from something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> I get bored uh, of this and enter into the main room again. <laughs> okay. The I main room still like looks the same. Dog. Okay. I slowly uh, trudge behind you in my heavy armor. So you said there there are like <laughs> coffins hey, or wait. stuff in here that have their lids like removed, like someone's been in. Uh, well, something about crowbars. I remember yeah. That part. <laughs> there's there's one coffin in here, but it looks similar to the one that McMan he found McManus in, I with mean, the crowbar marks and the lid slightly askew and the grave dis the grave disturbed. So there's probably lots of money in it. I, I don't know, but it's not anymore. Here's your other coffin. All right, I'll, I go ahead and walk up to it and just flip the lid off. Just All right, well, lid flipping successful. There's a de there's decomposed corpse in it. Gross. Gold is gone. Man. Its clothes are rags. Nothing is there. This was hey, look, you opened up a sarcophagus and there was a dead guy in there. I'm so surprised. <laughs> the last one had a surprise in it. So. <laughs> exactly. I'm still batting 500 here. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, I want to go over to this eastern, southeastern door here. Okay. So, hold on, explain to me, is Joseph just doing, is it like his turn or something? No, no Joseph is just no, doing no, like just walking around. Not, not, I mean, if you, would like to, if you would like to, we can go to the other two doors and yeah. unlock okay. them. Yeah. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the western door and see if uh, there's like any kind of... There's a lock on it. I'm going to go with lock him. On it. I'm going to go with him and spot him. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to take my time with uh, unlocking it while he's okay. doing whatever he's doing. I'm going to lean on the sarcophagus. I'm going to look at the door. Do I notice any door handles on this one? Or am I going to have to punch it, too? <laughs> there can be a door handle on this one. I would like to open it with a door handle to show that I'm a civil human dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just going to wait in the main room and lean on the sarcophagus because my armor is really heavy. Okay. <laughs> Roll the lean. I successfully lean. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, you open the door and inside there is a, another sarcophagus and it's dusty. I, I want to open it again and check for, open, open Mag dust. for Magnus McManus. Okay, roll to, roll to see if there's another Magnus in it. Okay, roll for Magnus. A nine. <laughs> Is there a Magnus in it? Nope, just another decomposed body with some rags. Well, this was really disappointing. Maybe I wish you could have opened it and found me because I'm an escape artist. While, while he's doing that, uh, have I unlocked this door yet? Yes. I leave the room in a huff. <laughs> Oh, I should have. Hey. I should have disguised myself hey. as something inside the sarcophagus. Hey, hey, Magnus, why don't, why don't you go ahead and open the door? That sounds scary, but okay. I open the door. It's dusty. You don't see anything. What's so scary about that? I mean, we are in a crib. Roll a spot check. It's dark are, inside. This those of us are just one of us. Yeah. Roll, roll a spot check. Seventeen plus your spot skill. Whereas, I want to cast control winds uh, to get all the dust out of this room. So, 20. Or, wait, 21. Uh, you don't say anything. Jeez. <clears throat> okay. Well, can Matt roll a spot check? Yeah, no, roll I'm a spot gonna, check. I'm going to walk in. I mean, that's time. a pretty since, good spot Since check. no traps have gone off, you, and you I've, have, used, I've successfully used Magnus as my I'll, decoy. Yeah, I'll let Matt. At it smells point. kind of moldy in here, by the way. Uh, let's I see. Gross. Ooh, gross. They got mold. They really right. need to fix that. I hope it's uh, twenty six. Um, you uh, see another sarcophagus in the middle of the room, like all the other rooms. I I, <laughs> I call out to Joseph, or I call out to uh, Dougal, Dougal, Dougal Big Dougal. Fist. <laughs> Mister, I call out to Mister Big Fist, telling him to come in here just in case. I come in, but say please. Mr. Big Fist was my father. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Dougal. As, as a sign of respect, I close the door so you can punch it down. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, apparently I'm, I'm going to be I'm left in the dark. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside and he just closes the door. Here, punch I'm, this down and I'm, let me leave the I'm rogue on the other too. side. Wait, what, did, what are your languages that you speak, Joseph? Uh, common, dwarven, giant, gnome, goblin, or Terran, un common, abyssal, and fist. He speaks fist, so I wanted to say something in his native tongue. Yeah. Let him speak in his native tongue. 
I thought his native tongue was dwarven, but apparently I was. No, it's fist. fist. I ah, fist. I fist the door. Whoa. Uh, that's <laughs> eight damage. Or, yeah, eight damage. So, I'm pretty sure it's well fisted. Uh, <laughs> the door uh, has been yeah. successfully fisted. I don't want Joe. Did don't he just want... punch the door down? Yeah. I don't yeah. want. That I spent all that time unlocking. What? The hell, man. I mean, he wanted me to do it. It's a parlor trick. What can I say? Uh, if anyone goes to open the sarcophagus, I'm going to hide. I flip <laughs> open the lid. Shit. Okay. I'm hiding. Do Just, I have to roll to hide? There's yes. a yeah. you have to roll um, hide. dead guy in there, and his bones, and he has rags on him. But in the corner, you see something shining. I, I grab to- it immediately. Okay, you grab it. And since you've knocked down the door and there's light spewing you from the outer room, you notice that you have just found a sack of gold. Nice. Oh, can I have one? <laughs> no! It's <laughs> mine! Dead. From the main room, I call out, Do go. Did you find anything in there? No! I, I lie. What's my bluff? <laughs> Five. I don't lie well. <laughs> I, I tell... <laughs> Would sense you like to roll motive. Sense motive. Yeah, I want a sense motive. Sense motive of. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all. 29. I yeah. rolled a 20 sense motive, so that's 23. 20, no, 35. You both realize that he is blatantly lying <laughs> and you tackle him. Well, you yeah! Make us tackle him. We don't have to tackle yeah, him. I'm just saying. Just, but I'm you just, realize he's blatantly lying to you. I just fall from the main room. room. As if it, everything okay in there? As if it weren't clear from my stuttering, <laughs> stammering excuses. No, nothing, bones, I'm collecting them. We tell Dr. Tan that Dougal has gold and he better share it. Uh, well, I say we, but I, I brandish my mace, but... At what? You're leaning on a sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, rah, rah, oh, give me gold. But, uh, three, my intimidate is only at four, so I don't. He doesn't. It yeah. has no effect on. Him. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave, ignoring the rogues for now. I I give Joseph a puppy dog face, or I give Dougal a puppy dog face. Does that, do I have to roll anything oh. for that? Roll for puppy dog. Okay, what about intimidate? Would that be kind of intimidate? <laughs> it's just like not. Roll for no, cute. I think that that would be diplomacy. Yeah. Roll, roll what? Diplomacy. Roll for cute or something. Okay, rolling for cute. It's not very cute. It's okay, a we'll roll for diplomacy. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna roll for diplomacy. Fifteen. Is that uh, a, uh, you, you talk pretty much. Thirty. Thirty. Does, does that have an effect on you? I I would like to. He's being diplomatic and very very. Much. How do I counter dipl- diplomacy? You have to roll better than that. Do I have to roll diplomacy or can I try to intimidate him? You need to try and intimidate. I'll him. I'll try to intimidate him because I that's what I'm good at. Oh, not good enough, though. I give you puppy dog eyes, which should make you share your gold. I try, yeah, yeah. I try to act tough. But just give me some fucking gold. Just, <laughs> get there. I'm trying to weave a okay. story here. <laughs> a story of a bunch of guys. We I'm just, while, while this is going on, <laughs> while, the, while that romance is going on, I'm going to go outside and watch Dr. Tam... Uh, Brandishes mace menacingly at air. <laughs> yeah. I try, I try to hold back, but your your puppy dog eyes melt my heart, and I give you half of the gold. How much gold is it? I didn't count. It's, it's, it's some. <laughs> I have he goes, some gold. He goes, here's, you here's both get two hundred and fifty gold here's a piece. Yes. Yeah. I get up off the sarcophagus. Uh, <laughs> get to Roll to successfully get up. I successfully get up. I, I waddle over to my fellow adventurers. I don't really? think you just roll for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I do personally. Okay. He just likes. Where is my where is my armor is really heavy? If I don't get a good roll, I fall down. GP. GP. I uh, I would like to exit this room and I, I uh, check this up. last this last I room down okay. here. Uh, and it, uh, is there a door now? or do I have to punch? Roll a perception check. Okay. Per- perceive the doorknob. Three, and is that spot? Or what is that? Spot check. Okay. Uh, I don't perceive well a five. Can I, can I go You know up? there's a door. You know that there's still a door in front of you. Would you like to perceive for him? Can I, can I, I'm going to try and perceive a doorknob for Joseph. I run over to the main room with Joseph, and I spot check the door for 15, 17. 19. You know the door, you notice that the door's ajar and that it's slightly dusty inside. 
I'd like to kick it open. Can we just like leave? <laughs> yes, you can just, just like leave anytime you ever want. Just, just Joseph, go in, flip open the sarcophagus. Yeah. So, yes, I want to flip the sarcophagus. Swear to the are in, and there's yeah, a sarcophagus. Yeah, you're, you're in, there's a sarcophagus, it's dusty, it's the same as all the other rooms. Okay, well, then why do I have to I'll, I'll, I have practice. <laughs> can I roll the flip over? I want to be like Joseph when I go. Okay. <laughs> you can roll the flip. Six. What do you get? Which, out of, what, what's my modifier? What's modifying six? Is that just like strength? I think we were just Here doing you. what is your strength. Yeah. Uh, so your 15. strength is not great enough. You wiggle it a bit. Oh. I push you out oh. of the side, to the side callously and flip it over with my big muscles. Are there buttons in it? There are bones, there's a dead guy, there's some rags. Can I just I'm take some, I'm just gonna take some rags. Just well guys, something. this is a great adventure. <laughs> what if I we, think we're in the wrong place. What if What if we have to like Windex a window? We'll need some rags to do that. So I'm I'd like to look around the room. I'm gonna take some rags. Spot check. 12. Um, I'm not very observant, you, but. You see some more dust and some cobwebs. I got a rag and I'm gonna tie it to my belt like a trophy for our mini adventures. So I'm, I have a have a rag now. Congratulations! It, it weighs two pounds. It's apparently everything weighs two pounds. <laughs> everything in this game. This is a two pound pounds. rag attached to me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just dragging it behind me. I uh, I'd like to enter the main room again to ponder things. I'm, can I just okay. leave? You're entering a successful. I uh. So <laughs> you're entering a successful. <laughs> So here we are in a mausoleum. I, there are four <laughs> doors. Can I can I can I roll to whine it, Dougal, to leave? <laughs> can I can I roll to do that? You don't need to roll, just do it. Can I, okay, I you whine. Just leave. I I whine at Joseph saying, or I whine at Dougal saying, can we leave? No, there's an adventure here. There's money in it. Oh, I don't know if you uh, we told you we get five thousand gold if we do this. So. Do what? I don't know. <laughs> this adventure. So you are we're supposed to find out why the drow are attacking the city of Dagger whatever. Daggerdale. Well, please remember that you were in one of many crypts. Oh, I thought this was like a main room. Okay, I leave this room. <laughs> this mausoleum, this crypt. I said I was going to the wall. I thought we were going to the wall. I thought you were punching a door in the mountain. Apparently you were just punching doors randomly, <laughs> which seems to be much more effective. I thought it was important if it had to have to Alright, alright, alright. Dougal, 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 you're right. I guess we should go to the next crypt. Let's just Remember. do this forever. I mean, I'll just, just go, like, outside and... You're outside on the road, you look around, and you see a crypt right across the street. Let's go oh, to Fantastic! It. Let's go to the crypt. I want to go there. Is it lit? Does it look safe? Fuck that. Let's just go. What graveyard looks safe? No graveyard no. looks safe. It's not lit. It doesn't look safe. It looks like the first one, but small. Oh, All cool. right. So I. So clearly that, that was, means it's less dangerous. None of us. I, <laughs> none of us run up to the wait, 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 wait. I, I just want to point out that you said less dangerous than not a damn thing happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Hey. A less single, dangerous than finding gold. A single massive stone door bearing a withered but still visible family crest marks the entrance of this crumbling mausoleum. Is it the Nygmanus crest? Can I do a spot check for that? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, fifth, or seventeen. You realize that it's not the Nygmanus crest. Damn it! In any way, <laughs> shape, form, or fashion. So it's I guess, really dumb. Uh, I get angry. I would like to... <laughs> I would like to knock on the door and wait for a reply. From the crypt? Yes. Okay. From inside. <laughs> hey man, there were apparently people at some point in the other one. Just chilling out living in crypts. You were By people, it? you mean yeah. him. By, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Mm. I, don't, I don't know where my guys from the party went last night, so they might be They in might there. be in this one. They might have teleported through steel, like, door and stuff. What did you, what did you spot check? To see if it was Megman. Yeah. 17. 17? Okay. Don't give me that. Can I spot uh, check again? No. Can I just look at it again? <laughs> Once Can I look time. harder? Well, Does anyone I'm respond to my knock? for any kind of tracks of anybody coming in or going out. 18. You search for 18 for tracks? Yeah. You don't see anything, but you realize, but you do look closer at the door and you can read, read the name. Chahir, written in Taurus script. Do I know this word? 
Ask Tris if he knows all the languages. <laughs> Dougal. It doesn't. Dougal. It's not. I know a lot of languages, but only select words. I know how to curse fluently in a bunch of different languages. Uh, did anyone respond to my knock, or is it this? No, nothing happened. I punch it. <laughs> what is... Um, I do eight damage. What is your strength? Uh, it is 22. Uh, you crack the door. Awesome. Punch it again, or can I try to it? <laughs> By the way, I have a trident. I don't know if anyone knew that. <laughs> no. I you just that found was, a guy with holding a trident. That was gonna be a surprise. Sorry, I have a trident. I had it. I found it at the party last night. I, I would like to punch again for uh, let's see here, uh, nine damage this time. <laughs> Can we fast forward this process? I, it took a while. Last I, time. You, I intimidate the door. You don't intimidate no. the door. You need to I, punch with someone to make. You shame. need to punch I, with, like, use someone's Wait, wait, oh, can oh, I hold on. I take, I take Magnus and use him as a weapon on the door. It doesn't work. Okay. You need to punch simultaneously. You need I to use, have a strength index. I right? use both of my fists. <laughs> <laughs> that should be 44. I deal 20 damage. You okay, break wait. the door. Yeah! <laughs> Big fist! Alright. <laughs> You've broken the door, and before you... You see two coffins laying parallel to each other. So it's just a single room? Correct. Two ornately stone coffins lie side by side against the wall across from the door. Dust lies thick on the floor and the air is deathly still. So I make, a, every, make a spot check. I walk in brashly. Spot of uh, 34. Good God. You notice small amounts of dirt on the floor near each coffin. Dark <laughs> spots among the light colored dust. There's some. What do you see? I'm not good at looking. There, there's some spots right around the coffins that are darker. It's what do the spots look like? They're darker than the dust. They're in piles next to the coffins. So piles? So poof? Mm. It's probably blood. It's not poop. I, uh, I go over to the uh, right coffin and open the lid. Open? Just, just open? I mean, uh, flip it open. Why? That's a good idea. I hide for real. It's yeah, I'm, I'm doing the same. <laughs> it's when he starts the, doing that, I'm going to hide. What are you before. doing? I I'm flip hiding. open the right lid. 17. 22. Or attempt to, at least. Is that the western or the eastern lid? That is the eastern. 25, I hide. Eastern lid. I hide for 10. <laughs> I don't think I'm successful. <laughs> You're standing there. You, yeah. just, hiding your hiding you just cover your eyes with your hands. Hiding behind your <laughs> Um, I can't see me if I can't see it. Once you flip open that lid, the other lid pops off the other coffin, and out of both coffins spring two vampires. Oh, shit. I'm fine. <laughs> we hit. We hit. We hit. We hit. Uh, and suddenly, you see two would-be grave robbers dressed in rattly clothes rise up as if of the undead as two vampires spawn. I'm, You're I'm facing four it. vampires. <laughs> Wait, I crack wait. my knuckles. I want I want them to roll a spot check to see us because we are hidden. Yeah, we are super hidden. We are mega hidden. Oh Tristan my. and Nick Manis cannot be seen. Okay, they're rolling a spot check. While they're doing that, I'm cracking my knuckles and then bring up a are rolling a spot check, so you know. I'm ready. I'm excited about killing the undead. Okay, no one sees you two. Yeah! Double hot dog. We see a huge door and town. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, Tim brandishing a mace, not very menacing. <laughs> Just like, oh god! Tim, uh, Tim trying to hide behind me. <laughs> <laughs> My clerical training didn't prepare me for this. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, don't we have to roll initiative? The, the biggest of the vampires says to you, thought to rob the dead, did you? That's what we thought to. I, That's a really uh, I would like to respond thing. by saying, I didn't want to rob anyone, I just wanted the treasure. They attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> also, as a side, have you seen any drow around here? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't respond to your request, but instead moves towards you. You have two, you have two large two vampires, vampires. Mm -hmm. and then you have... Um, vampires. Okay. They're outside of their coffins. Okay. They're sharing a space for all kinds of purposes. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. 
tactical. He can he can attack over you actually. Oh, but I also have move quietly. You should probably do that. Though. Move silently. If you well, can, I mean, you're hidden, so I'm everything sure you do you can just a, stab over me. Everything you do is a sneak <laughs> attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if he attacks right now, he's hidden, so it's a sneak attack, correct? Correct. So okay. I can I can move. just try to get over there. Yeah, no, I can. And I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm, a, I'm a meat shield. I I tr wait who. Who has the higher amount of HP? Who you, you can't answer yeah, that. Yeah, you don't, oh, they don't, you can't tell I mean, that, the right. vampires just popped out, so, and I'm these assuming, are spawn. I'm assuming the so. spawn are going to be weaker, so I tried it over Joseph. Roll, you got to roll to hit first. Yeah, so roll to hit. One. Sorry, I skipped a okay. stat. 17. Plus, plus a lot. So, yeah. plus 8. It's 25. Yes. Yeah, 25. I'm going for the vampire spawn, though. Okay, you have 25. Vampire, vampire spawn. You hit him. Okay. Plus oh, geez. All of them. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! Wait, no, never mind. That was getting two ones. So, six, seven, eight. Right? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm adding up all these. It's ten. And eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen damage. Nineteen plus, plus three. three. Three, so 22. 22. 22 damage. <clears throat> you severely weakened the first one. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Trident. I just you have, Trident. You um, have another you, attack. As a party, you notice that you can no longer see the biggest and main vampire. Oh. Oh, oh no. That sucks. Continue. <laughs> Am I going to be a vampire? <laughs> um, so I can attack again, right? Yeah, you okay. have a second attack. But so this one's just at three instead of... Okay, so roll to hit. Roll Ooh, to try it again. Seven. And miss. <laughs> What'd you roll? Four. No, That's four. seven. Seven. Seven with your modifier, you miss. That's a four. All right. No, Who's next is... on initiative? I had ten. So Who are you attacking? Uh, you know what? Let's see. Uh, I see the two guys directly in front of uh, Tim and Joseph, right? And then the vampire, like, slightly behind one, one of them. One vampire, mm -hmm. you see, right? Yeah, one vampire you can see. I can see one vampire. We are short one vampire. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my uh, hand crossbow, and I'm going to take a couple shots at the uh, vampire in the back. 27. 27? I'm yeah. pretty sure you hit him. Maybe. Uh, you hit him. Okay. Roll the damage. Pretty cool. Roll to hurt. 16. Okay. And I'm rolling to shoot him again. Ooh. And I critical fail. I fall down. Right. You, <laughs> I fall you down. fall down, and while falling, you notice that that vampire that you hit blinked. 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 Big blinked eyes. <laughs> oh God, okay, guys, it, he blinked. It winces a little bit from your crossbow arrow. Oh. Oh. oh, well, okay. I made him wince. Okay. As I'm falling, I made him wince. Can I hide again? <laughs> I would like. To, I would like <laughs> to. I'm gonna go with no on that one. <laughs> I think we've thoroughly missed everything. I guess. Here. I guess getting tried to tid will. Since kinda... I'm. Now in the Should battle zone. <laughs> Come on, man! You <laughs> fell down shooting a crossbow. Well, I told you it he. Has, I told you he blinked. It had intense recoil. All right. Uh, well, I guess since you I can punch faces really good, after <laughs> I kill someone, I'm going to attack with my dwarven war axe on the guy that uh, Magnus weakened. I okay, rolled a hit. All right. So that is a twenty-one. Okay, you hit him. Roll damage. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't... Eight damage. Eight damage? Mm -hmm. You wound him more. Yay! We're about you to have another attack. Yeah, I, this time I would like to just turn and punch him in the face. Okay, roll Because I'm angry that my war axe didn't work well. Uh, 17. You miss. Damn. I'm very angry right now. I'm very upset. <laughs> you, should have, you should have just used both of your fists yeah. on him. Ten? You tell okay. them about Talos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's see. So I guess I'm going to try, since those those attacks didn't seem to work very well, I'm going to go after that same guy. <laughs> okay. I'm having trouble keeping track of all one. this stuff here. Um, this, this is visual this is, this is weakened guy okay. in front of me. These and guys then that are okay. guy, that's the guy that yeah, I the, shot with the arrow and then fell down trying to shoot. <laughs> and and okay. he went. He blinked. Or she I keep, actually she blinked. She, I keep saying she blinked. Okay. I'm just on the ground. She blinked. 
She blinked. <laughs> well, I take she that as a sign blinked. of weakness, and I take out my whip. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the hit. What, blinking? Ooh. Did he critical uh, failure too? No. 15. Because I hope he trips himself. You miss. Damn. You have a second attack. Okay. Whip again. Oh, whip, it, whip, whip it again. Whip it again. Damn it. <laughs> whip it good. And eight again. Yeah, so, so I just I just, kinda, again. I just He's just making sense. I, I just kinda hold my head down in shame after what after cracking my whip against the wall a couple times. Oh yeah. This is gonna be okay. bad. I'm laying on the ground. Alright, um I don't think that's a good position to be <laughs> vampires about. That's okay, vampire. let's just roll or tumble. How funny would it be if we just all died in here right now? That's the end. <laughs> well, thank you for yeah, uh, thank you for listening to this. We opened <laughs> we opened doors and that was and we, we opened doors and then opened a coffin and got our asses beat. The end. Yeah. That is the end of our heroic journey. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be level ten, so this wouldn't happen. <laughs> we haven't lost yet. We haven't even been hit yet. Yeah. We're already doomsaying. There's an invisible <laughs> vampire in here. I'm you scared. Know, you're, <laughs> You really are a lot less, like, you have a lot less bravado than I would expect from someone named Magnus McManus. I hung over. <laughs> I hung over. I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't even know why. He's, oh, he's been eating nothing but Twinkies for the last three days. <laughs> How much third day? Twinkies and dirt. He forgot, that he, was, he forgot that he was such a good escape artist mm. that he could get out of the coffin that he had trapped himself in. Yeah. Do you no, really no, 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 think no, no, that no. this person should no. have bravado? No, no, yeah, no, I no. couldn't. I couldn't open the coffin, but I, so I escaped <laughs> artists out of the open air into the coffin. <laughs> oh, that's how you were feeling artist. very trapped. Yeah, I escape artists into, into the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> right. I see double um, digits over there. Okay, you close. suddenly realize that there are lightning bolts coming from sporadic locations around the crowd. Oh god! Jeez. <laughs> what is going on? Luckily, I'm low to the ground, you so are lightning is a You are each. Guess what? I'm on the ground, so it's <laughs> right now. And Joseph is covered in metal. <laughs> Let's see. No, five, eight. The lightning bolts seem to two. overwhelm and light up the whole tomb for several minutes. You are each hit with 16 points of damage. Jeez. Oh. Actually, that's not bad. It is for me. <laughs> I need a calculator. <laughs> the figure of the vampires that you can see moves and hits Joseph, the larger of the of the party, with nine damage. How? What is, what is he attacking me with? How am I? His vampire. <clears throat> He's attacking, attacking you with you. vampire. It just is. Doing Fine. That. The grave robber spawn attempt to attack and miss. You said it was nine damage. Mm -hmm. I got hurt. Yeah. So basically, it ganged up on me along with lightning. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's what um, I'm here for. You said that they it was sporadic locations. You couldn't tell if the tomb was too bright. You couldn't see where one lightning bolt was coming from the other. Uh, but one hit. But they all hit us. Yeah, apparently. Right. Even though I was on the ground. Mm -hmm. You all got hit by one. There was probably 20 bolts thrown. Okay. So I guess we're what? Right. You know what? I count myself lucky. Just deal with it. This Fine. is the way the game is. Right. Okay. Just it's right. like somebody who would be friends with you. Why don't you try and befriend him? I mean, fuck, you're talus worshiper. You went to diplomacy. The the well, uh, I just realized that I have, I have a spell of create water and then a spell of bless water. Oh, hey, we'll have holy water. Do oh. that. Yeah, when that's your next turn, that'll be. Yeah, no, right. you can and cast one spell per turn. We can spawn a frozen attack at. Uh, In my hands. Yeah. You and misses because he's weakened, and the other spawn tries to attack and <coughs> is encumbered by his clumsiness. And Wait, aren't animal. you right there? That's me. Yeah, I stabbed over you. Okay, so that means he came through my square to try to attack him, right? Uh, I mean, I did. Mm -hmm. I did just try to hit him in the face. So. So that means it's time for some fisting. Okay, we'll fist him. <laughs> right. That is something I don't like. Hearing. You, so you get an attack, attack of opportunity. It's the same. It's the same as a regular. Day. Okay. So that would be a twenty-two. Yeah, you kill him. He's dead. Yes. I, and he doesn't hit Joseph. He's died. Or, I, I very I'm Joseph. <laughs> whatever. I, <laughs> whatever. I know you're not. Hide. That's Magnus, and you're whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I very carefully high five Joseph so as I don't hurt myself. Okay. Yeah. The spikes are on the outside of the car. <laughs> I'm just, I said I'm being careful. Well, Knowing okay. Joseph, he has unless, spikes unless, in his Wait, wait. Unless you have like bitch slapping gloves now. That's Menace, roll for damn. 
Let's you know what you're going to do. Yeah, um, just decide. McManus moves to the west side of the crypt cool. and tridents over. Is that Tim? Yeah. I tried it over Tim at the other vampire spot. Okay. I, I like it. Roll the hit. Set, uh, 16 plus 24. 24. You hit? The vampire. Mm -hmm. The vampire spawn. And the I vampire do, spawn. How many? How many damage do you do? How much damage do you do? Six. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good job. All right. I congratulate He He you. is successfully tridented. Called. I mean, to just put the D20 back on the map. So, I mean, we can see the vampire again. His invisibility, invisibility spell has worn off and he has appeared on top of this coffin. That's silly. If I'm about to ruin his day, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, it's your attack. Is it? Wait, is it my attack? attack? Oh, wait, could... it's Matt's attack. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tumble. Wait, are you attacking I... a second time? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take again. Well, you moved. Okay, you, you moved. You, you moved, you can't try twice. Okay. Okay. I'm tumbling. Uh, 18, 28. 30, you tumble. You well. tumble. Thirty-three. Yeah. You okay. tumble. You tumble. I'm tumbling. Uh, around, like I'm gonna just tumble over Joseph. <laughs> you like you <laughs> and jump right off my back. Yeah. And, like, and, and behind the vampire. And as I'm tumbling, I'm going to draw my kukri as a free action. <laughs> and I'm gonna pig stick this. I'm gonna pig stick this bitch right in the back. Okay. Which, the vampire, the so, one that you so, just attacked. So, so fucking Trish and Silver's did a backflip across the room behind the vampire. Yeah. I'm simply so impressed. Hit. Using me as a springboard. <laughs> 28. You hit him. Roll damage. Does that count as a sneak attack? Because that's flanking. Like, I'm flanking her. That's why I did that. Oh, Which wow. one are you attacking? Um, the vampire. That one? Or the one on the coffin? The, the one that I'm flanking. Okay. Not so that I get sneak attack damage of that. That's what a is lot. that? A That's lot. 22... 27. 27. So, she uh, doubles over in pain. So so we're all just kind of flailing around. I'm flailing around with a trident. <laughs> Trish just fucking backflips over Joseph and, and just Joseph. shakes one of them. Does no, charging an enemy do anything I could? I charge him against the wall and just start punching him to death. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What do we, he, what may, do we, he may retaliate once your turn is over, but well, yeah, you're, you're going to charge through, an, uh, through a threatened square so he can smack you for coming at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, mean, gets you, you get an attack of he gets an attack of opportunity and he may take more damage. But if you. You just, know what? I have a lot of HP. I'm willing to take that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this just a regular attack? Now, when I say punch his face, I really mean hit him in the face with an axe. Uh, but I'm, I'm still going to charge because that's more impressive. I saw you do the flips and everything, <laughs> so I'm feeling a little emasculated. I need to charge and display Party my morale talent. is very high. <laughs> okay. Not good. Doesn't he get plus four <laughs> for charging? Maybe. <coughs> Maybe. Do you? Maybe. So, so you got an 11 when you just rolled it if you get a plus four. No. What are you, what are you talking about, man? You said you rolled a, a seven. No, that's a three. Oh. If it's plus four, it's a seven. It would be eighteen. Okay. You get an eighteen. Okay, yeah. you charge. Okay. And you hit. So Do right. I share a square with him now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you and on. hit, and he reaches out to try to defend himself, and he does four damage. Okay, I can take that. Just, <laughs> just for with that. Just for everyone listening, Joseph is attacking false vampire on top of the sarcophagus. Yeah. Balls okay, vampire. now that I roll like an actual attack. Or now you roll to hit and punch him in the face. <laughs> okay, with an axe. With an axe. <laughs> to the neck. Okay. Take it on the boss. That's a, that's twenty-seven. Okay, you hit him. <laughs> roll to damage. Fuck again. Eight. It's not as impressive as you, but you know what? It was fun. Okay. Joseph just sees Tristan Silver fly through the air. He's like, I want to do that too! And just kind of flails at the vampire's <laughs> axe. And now it's Sam's turn. Okay. <laughs> and I Sam's feel that. Him. Hey, just, hey now do something stay smart. Stay Aren't they undead? Like, Are they vampires count, undead? Did, did they count yes. as undead? I mean, at least the vampire, uh, the, the not vampire, the thief people. Yeah, definitely. They oh. have to be. Because you said they rose up from the corner, so they have to be on the... 
Yeah. Well, dang. Just fill the place with water, Tim. Just do well, it. <laughs> I, I can only produce two gallons at a time. Well, I was going to say, fill the place with water. <laughs> so I mean, I can summon two <laughs> gallons of water, but it won't do anything. So let me get this straight. While we're fighting to the death with vampires and vampire spawns, you're over in the corner making fucking water. According to his energy, I could be. Well, um, let's see. Um, I just imagine somebody going, da -da -da -da. You know, they're really close. No, we haven't even gotten to the main area yet. This is just the outer adventure. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, and it's taken us like two hours. Well, to do I've this got an ability to turn undead, and I also water. have the feat of extra turning. So, Why not? What, what do I do for that? Do I just roll? Just roll. Just do it. Just just roll. I, turn? I think you just brandish your. Uh, you brandish your whip. Do I? Yeah, yeah, no, do I turn? actually talking about like his uh, symbol of uh, his religion. Do I turn I know, all or turn just one at a time? The DM has the DMG, and she can look up turning and rebuking undead. Or Tim can because he has the freaking player's handbook. Yeah, but look it, it up. Every time, every time I look something up, it, 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 it uh, refers me to somewhere else. Just do it. Including the DMG. <laughs> <laughs> if it refers to the DMG, I'll take over. <clears throat> I can't find anything here. <laughs> Me and the head vampire share a confused look as we wait on them. As Dr. Tam literally sits in the back thumbing through his, uh, his <laughs> wall. How do I do this again? <clears throat> a, a, a tiny bit of water squirts out of his fingers <laughs> as he tries to figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah. Silly me, I happen to choose the most complicated uh, type of character to play on my very first time. In front of everyone, no less. But... Now that we've taken care of that, uh, I'm going to cast a spell called Searing Light. Uh, the description says, Focusing holy power like a ray of the sun, you project a blast of light from your open palm. You must succeed at a ranged touch attack to strike your target. Uh, creatures, Undead creatures particularly vulnerable to sunlight, such as vampires, take 1d8 points of damage per caster level, maximum... 10d8, so I could do a maximum of 80 points of damage. Yet your previous turn, you whipped you with an <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know my own strength, I guess. Well, you <laughs> haven't even hit my own yet. potential yeah, you, strength. You have to hit things. Just, it, it, just, just roll. Just okay, roll. so 14 plus what for that? I don't even know. Your attack. Okay, so 14 plus 7. 21. So this is 21. Touch the character is yes. a touch. Yes. So now you roll ten d eight. She's got the d eight in there. Yeah, borrow the d eight. I'm roll. Uh, oh. I already rolled your ten d eight. Be fifty seven points of damage. Yeah. Good God, man. Wait, that's and on that, that's on boss vampire, right? Yes. Yeah, the one that's on that, boss vampire. The one that I axed in the face. Not as effectively as that though. It's a good job. Boss vampire is severely weakened. Yay! Way to go, looking. Tim. Looking very After this, sickly we'll for an bomb. undead character. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say he's looking very pale? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys weaken Even all for of an these, undead. I can just chain cleave and beat the hell out all of him. Alright, and now... Let me take the glory. It's cool. Alright, the boss vampire tries to uh, cast the spell, but he cannot because of his weakened state. Ooh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. He cast a spell, well, there's two people right in his... Uh, he can't hit them. No, but well, we can hit him because it's an attack of the time opportunity. Okay. Let's fuck him up. <clears throat> Twenty-six. You hit him. Nine. You uh, don't. I'm going to be attacking him with my axe again. Uh, Twenty-one. How many points of damage do you do? Eight. You kill him. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna go the vampire is dead. I'm going to whip around and try to hit the uh, the other vampire. Using my feet called Great Cleave. Oh, wait, don't the vampires have to hit now? No, he has a cleave. Yeah. Okay. Mine just keeps on going. My cleave lets me keep on attacking if I kill an enemy. Okay. So I'm attacking the vampire. Uh, that's a. Uh, oh, that's a crit. Hey, natural 20. Uh, no, you still have to roll. Yeah. 30, 31. Uh, so that definitely hit. And. Again, twenty. So I uh, she's dead. That's a natural kill. I, I want to roll damage here. Uh, dead. 
No, no, no. no. A, a twenty, a twenty, and then a twenty is like a natural kill. Yeah, oh, okay. that's <clears throat> she's dead too. I just spray. And now there's, so now one, there's more, one more, and more I can vampire still, spawn. And I can still clean it. Who has taken six points of damage thus far? I just like sprayed ten with he viscera. He rolls. He rolls to attack you for. Uh, Do I get killing? He gets, his he gets to cleave. Joseph's, oh, yeah, you still yeah, kill. I'm still so. cleaving. You <laughs> still cleave away. I have blood loss. I'm still killing. I'm not done oh, yet. Stop okay, me. that one Kill is it. a 20. You hit. <laughs> Yay. Roll for damage. Eight again. How? That is five ones in a row on a D10. After a so eight damage. damage. Eight damage? It's not dead, but it's severely wounded. Ah. Can I can I take the oh no it's, oh it's my turn wait who's no turn? it's no, no, no it's the vampire's turn. turn it is one weekend vampire's turn it finally got to the attack. weekend the weekend vampire uh, tries to attack you standing right in front of it Tim Tim he tries to attack Tim and he does eight points of damage to Tim oh. he's getting so, him back for her now for her, the boss. And now it is I want to try to that bitch. Try to win. Try to win. Uh, yeah, just double try it because we're flanking now. Okay. Which is very bad for them, but very good for us. Okay. Uh, well, flanking is uh, like a plus what, one bonus. You're not flanking because you have to be on opposite sides. Okay. Of it. 24 to your yeah, guys. Gotcha. You hit him. Okay. So one. Mm-hmm. No. One D. Eight. One D eight plus. Oh yeah, because you're. Playing. Oh, it's a flank. Is that a rogue thing? Just that's just a rogue thing, and you need a D eight, which is over okay. here. Okay. So it's try dead. Can we just say roll and tell me how much damage you did? A, a lot. A lot. Nine, ten, eleven, 12, over 20. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, Matt is mathing for me. <laughs> Looks like twenty seven. You've killed the vampire. My trident has tasted you, blood. You also covered Tim in viscera. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's covering Tim. In it's in my helmet. <laughs> I can't see. Shahar, the boss vampire, has killed more than one traveler camping in this crypt over the years and has taken a fair bit of loot from his victims. Ooh, ooh, what shinies are there? I would like to check him for shinies. <clears throat> Let's speed it up and just say all this stuff. Yeah, we're looking through everything. Okay, you get uh, 4,850 SP. 950. Wait, hold on, hold on. 4,000. That's silver, right? That's no, silver. silver. Hold on. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split it up. 4,000 what? 850 silver. Is it like uh, 1,113, 1,113, and 1,000. Oh, 1,213. Oh. 1,213. 1,212. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that was 10, by the way. Yeah, and I got 1,212. And, okay, yeah, and there's 950 gold pieces. <clears throat> Shoot. I will arm wrestle you guys for that. How? What's the conversion on silver to gold, or is there? Is it uh, you, it's... It's 237 a piece. Okay. 237 gold a piece? Yeah. Everybody put that. I discovered yeah. that I suddenly have less money in my pouch than I did after I split the money with Magnus earlier. Why is that? I don't know, but since I'm still not really thinking clearly from the battle state, I can only imagine that my furious attacks were so powerful that it actually melted the gold out of existence. <laughs> Don't question it. Further. Actually, actually, uh, Magnus speaks up and says he saw Dr. Tan looking at very suspicious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. <laughs> suspicious uh, how? Is this some kind of, like, religious bigotry we're talking about here? Actually, yes. You know what? I, my bloodlust was sated, so I'm not too worried about the money. <laughs> I pay no mind. Do we that, find anything that else? Tristan's uh, purse looks a little bit heavier than the rest of us? Hey, 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 that is that is pure hearsay and speculation. You have no proofs. <laughs> no. In addition, you find a ring worth 140 gold and a fine emerald worth 800 gold. Can I have um, can I have one of those? I don't Let's just let's just put those in. Does anybody have a bag that we 
Okay. I have some rags we can wrap them in. Well, I mean, we all have backpacks, so who just what backpack are we putting these in? Probably not shouldn't. Sure. This probably shouldn't be mine since I'm up close and personal. Give time. it to Tim. If he yeah. dies, we he's the most. It Tim yeah. is the best. I've, I've got the heavy armor. I can just stick it underneath. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's stick it under my that. heavy I armor. Look, I look the list of Anyway, Tim has <laughs> Tim has the ring. Someone who isn't a rogue should take the emerald, but I don't want to give it to Joseph either. So Tim just takes both of them. Okay. okay. So I don't trust put, rogues with treasure. I'll just put ring and emerald. Yeah. Write the word next to them. 140 and 800. Which one was which? Just put it right. I guess that makes sense. How much does the rum weigh? <laughs> two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. Okay. Is everything weigh two pounds? In yes, I have two pounds of rice. So I have a, I have a two pound emerald. Good That's Lord. incredible. That's you think that would be worth way more than eight hundred? The emerald is you know, two pounds. These days. Yeah. All right. Can we leave this crypt and like the, go do something else? Yeah, Before we do outside, outside today. is there anything else outside? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get out here. We leave, we leave. I this think place. we've I think we've exhausted this place. Yeah. I have fun. As you leave the crypt, roll everyone roll a spot check. Twenty one. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, where's the twenty five? Spot is. Uh, Okay, same again, so, Matt. 25, 16, 21, 10. Okay, Matt, in, uh, down the road you see another large pair of doors set into the hillside. They are flanked by a pair of columns carved to resemble skeletal warriors in full plate armor. Their visor helmets open to reveal their leering skulls. The, door, the doors are unadorned except for two stone handles, handles. although... Gorge marks indicate that Why heavy like tools dealt some damage to the doors in the past. I checked the statues to see if they had the McManus. We have to walk to them. How far did you? They? How did you do that? Because I'm the only one who noticed that there was a giant door over there. Did I notice it? I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, hey, um, guys, there's a giant door over there that we just apparently like all missed. Oh, that fantastic door, and it looks like what you just heard. Yeah. Huh. So you're. Uh, Statues. So you're saying that looks like it might have been the place we should have gone to first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I checked the yeah, statues using Madison Simia. Using my three points of uh, religion Rolls knowledge. Spot check. Yeah. No. Five. Critical <laughs> failure. Ye fail. My eyes explode. Using using my three points of religion knowledge, I say, you know, I think these might be Talos statues. <laughs> no one listens. <laughs> no one listens. I'm not listening. <laughs> I heard the word talos, and then I just shut down. Yeah. We offered Are y'all gonna walk up to the doors? Yeah, I'm gonna walk to the doors. Let's, let's walk up to the doors. Okay. I cautiously walk behind them. I hide. Yeah. You're so <laughs> timid for her Magnus. I, I'm walking behind uh, yeah. Joseph. McDougal. 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 Where did the Mick come from? I don't care. I, I'm trying really hard to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> so this armor is really heavy. Why did I make this decision? How I tall are you? Uh, five two. Oh, <laughs> this makes it all that much. Better. You you are really I have, like the kid in Christmas story. story. I have an inferiority <laughs> complex. So yeah, just for the How record. How are we gonna open the doors? I, well, first I would like to knock because that's the polite thing to do. Wait, hold on, hold on. I want to listen on the door. <laughs> I want to put my head in between the cracks and see if I can hear anything. Okay. His whole head, not his ear. Uh, and I thirty-seven. Jesus, Jesus. for listen. It's eleven. You hear some rumblings behind the door, but nothing much. Could be, could be small vermin. So like someone farted. Or? Could be, <laughs> it could be small vermin no, or uh, mm. something your size walking far behind. I'm like five eight toes. I just grab the handles and I just rip back. I'm gonna open these. Which so like I'm standing. My head. I'm standing Roll ten feet because that turned out really well damage. last time we did that. How much damage I do? What do you mean? Damage? Damage? He's opening the door. Yeah, I'm just opening. I'm not punching. Uh, well then. I'm attempting to open. The door is locked. You can't open. <sighs> Guys, I think we need to find the key. Can we try to? I let it? a beat pass and start laughing raucously and punch the shit out. The door. <laughs> <laughs> roll the hit. Oh, I have to roll to hit the door. Okay. No, he doesn't. You missed the roll the damage. You missed the fucking door. Miss the door. Punch your own leg off. I, I do nine <laughs> damage. Uh, I'm gonna. While he's doing that, I'm gonna try and open the lock. I'm gonna try to open the other lock. Nineteen. Nineteen. You fail. Okay. Uh, 
so uh, twenty-eight. Uh, you fail, but it wiggles a bit. Yay! Yeah, that's, Lord, that's a very impressive lock. Did did my punch have any noticeable effect on the door at all? Crackle a bit. Man, punch it again. Come on, you punch it. Head butted. Uh, Thirty-two. You open the door. I've opened the door. I look very glum. I roll to jump because it's scary. I have jump. You can just say, I jump. I bet I can jump better than you. <laughs> I have a 16 modifier to jump. The door the door opens into a long, wide hallway that runs deep into the hillside. What do we see? Joseph dies head A 10-foot wide hallway of stone runs back into the hillside as far as you can see. Right in front of you, five dead drow, two female and three male, lie in the mouth of the tunnel. They have been stripped of arms and armor, but each still wears silver spider webs insignia. The air here smells strongly of death. Guys, I found the drow. I think this might be a mystery, you guys. Wait, wait, wait. You mean we're done? We can take these back? I think so. I checked them for the McManus insignia. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you critically five. Five. five you spot don't check. see anything. It's so stupid. There has to be one McManus okay. out there. How, like, are these bodies, like, fresh corpses, or, like, are they, you know, like, falling apart, decomposed? They are not decomposed, but they haven't been killed recently. Hmm. Decompass. <laughs> Decomposing. Also. They're not one of those words. Um, we should just pick these up and take them back and get the 5K. I'm yeah, down let's with that. Do that. Let's, let's not fight things anymore. Yeah, I'm okay. Can, uh, we, can, can we load all of them onto Tim? I think I can definitely carry I don't think I can carry much more. <laughs> I, I attempt to pick up the, the largest of the amount. Uh, do they like fall apart or anything like that? Gross. Um, you pick up the largest one. And uh, it seems to have been killed by blows from a blunt weapon, and its head falls off. Ew. Whatever, it doesn't matter if the head is gone. <laughs> I mean, we get, I guess we can't check dental records. But, yeah. Did you guys? Well, oh wait. You know what? I drop the body. Wait. And I use my war axe to cut off all the other heads. Super light, guys. So are we, we just taking just the heads? heads? They're drow. That makes sense. Hey, wait. We should probably take the tabards too. Can you talk to undead? Can you talk to dead? Can you, yeah, dead. Can you, you Ben, uh, Tim? Can, I mean, Tim. 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 I can try. Mm -hmm. See if you can figure out what happened to them. And then we'll take these back and get them. Yeah. Okay. So, I, so I figure. So you're leaving me here while you. No! No, we're not leaving. We're, we're just getting ready. Okay, we, but we're not going to leave without you, buddy. Uh, so I have five heads now. I guess we should probably take the tabards, too, just to prove that, okay, these are drow or whatever. Wait, what was our. Were we, we were supposed to blow? We were supposed to. Were we supposed to kill them or find out why they were? I don't attacking? know. We should just bring them heads and be, ask them. You should. You're supposed to be I'll finding out why they're, they're attacking head. and who's making the oh, attack. I'll I drop it. the heads in a huff. No, that doesn't help. <laughs> us. This doesn't help us at all. Just be like they attacked us and we killed them, but they also told us that they. Well, I could have spoken with the Who's dead, it? but you cut their heads off now. What does that mean? I don't know. Whatever. Well, it means we're all just being with the dead. Can you find the dead? I can only speak with one, and you said there's what, four? Five. 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 How yeah. can you only speak with one? It just says target one dead creature. Did you have I hold up a head in front of you and be like, make him tell us <laughs> what's going on. Okay. <laughs> I hope you pick the right one. Well, Not one of the guards. No! Well, fine then. Okay. I cast speak with the dead on that head. <laughs> okay. What are you going to ask it? So, <laughs> what don't you can ask who it is. Uh, Have you well, been attacking Dagger Dale? I'm the one that speaks with the dead, okay? You've got all your languages, I've got dead speak, okay? <laughs> Unless, actually, wait, what language you, do they speak? I will give you a... I might need a translator. They speak something you can speak. Okay. I will give you a crash course on fist. It is, but just deal with it. Okay. It sounds like something that you're not going to succeed at anyways. <laughs> so, like... Ask the uh, question. How did... How, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> we we're died just, here. We're just hanging Well, I, I can tell that. I can see that from the death. But <laughs> what? From how did you die here? No, but Joseph. Uh, because we follow the Spider Queen. Oh, hey. Oh, question queen? answered. Let's go. Let's take so, Ask her. Why did, why did the Spider Queen, like, kill you? Is she bad or something? Who she can? didn't kill us. Oh. But... Mm -hmm. They were killed for worshipping, for following the Spider Queen? Who 
ki just say Esk like, killed them. Like, uh, no, were, were you were you killed for like being being, fo being followers of the Spider Queen or literally following the Spider this Queen? This is twenty questions. <laughs> yes, it is. Ask, ask you killed them. Them. I'm the I'm the dead speaker here. <laughs> I am the dead speaker. Ask first question. What? <laughs> Who killed them? Okay, who killed them? <laughs> who bombed you? Followers of the no White part. Banshee. Now we have our answer. Let's go. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Where are the followers of the White Banshee? Hold, 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 hold on. Ask if they've been attacking human settlements or whatever. Okay. Have you all been attacking <laughs> human settlements or something? No. Are you lying? Ask if he's they lying. They can't lie. Oh, they can't lie. Can they say. lie? Can we sense motive? I don't think so. We're under a spell. No, they can't lie. No, they can't okay. lie. So, so they do I throw the head down, pissed off that we got the wrong ones. Well, they were dead, so we didn't really have to do much work. Yes, just I'm just question them. It more. says I'm just getting the knowledge because it does not actually speak to them, just the imparted knowledge. No, I like it better that we're talking to it. Yeah, I do too. Who, who yeah. killed him? Follows the white banshee. Okay. Why is the they kill you? Shut up. You are talking to the dead. <laughs> what where what are followers of the white <laughs> banshee? But, but he's not talking to the dead, he's just muttering. Karasi. Who? Karasi. Sounds like a stupid name. Is that a person? It sounds like a Tell food. them I hate them. Is no. that a food? What? <laughs> is it's this, a is this something it's a group. touch. A group. Oh, okay. Like you're saying that's just the other name for that. Okay. Why did they kill you? <laughs> Just because? Because they're followers of the Spider Queen. We, no, they're not. They're white bands. We were on the wrong side. Can Tim, you are bad. Wait, wait, I have a question. <laughs> While Jim is doing this, I'm going to walk down the tunnel a little bit and look for... Can we just, like, take the head with us and ask you questions when we think of the letter? <laughs> yeah, no. what, what, wait, 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 no, he can cast that spell. I'm adding a head to my inventory, yeah. a talking head. Okay. <laughs> I'm adding, I'm going to, it weighs, take, it weighs two pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm so gonna, we know that wh what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take its hair and tie it through like my belt loop or whatever and just carry it along with us. Ask it if it needs any ride. Ask its name so we don't have to, you know, so it's not <laughs> What's so. What's your name? Oh yeah, what is your name? Murray. Thomas. <laughs> I like Murray then. Right. Not Murray then. It's Murray. Not Murray. Murray. Okay. All right, Murray. We're going to go on a trip. Let's just. We'll, we'll ask more questions later. Let's walk down this hallway. Okay. This wide hallway extends about 40 feet into the darkness before ending in what looks like a small crypt, though there are no sarcophagus. Two okay. alcoves branch off from each side of the hall. They are also apparently empty except for a thickening coat of dust. Can we just... Ask this guy if there's anything worth exploring here, because we spent like an hour on a wild goose chase. Well, it doesn't look like he made it that far. <laughs> just ask. Maybe he, he might try to get well, out. He, he, came, he came from the opposite direction. Okay, like is there out. anything... Murray, is there <laughs> is there anything worthwhile in this dungeon other than just some For dust? strapping heroes. He has no idea. What a cop out. No He's never thing. been in this door. He doesn't know where it leads. He was trying to get out of the crypt, but he fell right at the entrance. He ran into the door. Now, do you want to enter? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, what else? What else is around there? You said that it just goes straight into these two crypts. Is there another branch or anything like that? You what can information? look into the crypt and you see branches off to the left and uh, to the right at the end of the crypt. Let's are these just like little alcoves, or are they? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, let's just let's uh, walk around. I mean, there's four of us each taking alcoves. See if there's anything of interest. Okay. I'll take. This. Everyone roll a spot check. Okay. In each of our respective alcoves, or just twenty-one. Okay. Ten. Nine. <laughs> Matt. Uh, thirty-three. Troy. Uh, uh, fifteen. Would you roll? Which one? Okay, um, you, you, and you see nothing but empty alcoves and dust. You don't see anything. <laughs> so, I don't even see an alcove. <laughs> your visor on your helmet has, like, covered up your eyes. You see a bunch of dust and cobwebs. You just know that there's an alcove in front of you and you can't see what's beyond the entryway. You know I what? say this place is boring. Yeah, let's just keep on going down the hallway. 
I said oh, there's okay. nothing even here. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Where did you guys go? Where'd you guys go? Tim, we're leaving. Tim, All right, what? you continue oh. on down the hallway. You see another doorway. Can we like, see anything? Um, like torches and shit? Like no, there's light still light from, from the open door that okay. you knocked down. This is a doorway? That's a doorway. I, I, I want to, can I, can I listen? The door here, here obviously was once plastered shut, but the wide crack in the plaster surrounding it indicates that it has since been broken open. The door is now closed. I would like to kick it open. I hide. I uh, follow this. Uh, make a search check. Who? Anyone. Make a search okay. check. Well, uh, I search for not good. Uh, uh, Sixteen. Uh, Nineteen. Make a search check. Seventeen. Make a uh, dwarf stone cunning bonus. It, do I add that onto? Yes. The, okay. Uh, so it's nineteen plus two, so twenty-one. All right. You see that the plaster has clear marks from a chisel. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm pretty sure my foot is more effective than a chisel. <laughs> well, he's so, also got an axe. So I'd like to continue on with my kicking hope in the door and let out a boisterous huzzah as I do so. Should we, should we hide? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to hide. Yeah, we're You hiding. move into the crypt. 19. And uh, by doing so, you... 10. I don't know. Again. <laughs> That's what Murray thinks about You set off a trap. Ha! <laughs> 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 you think we were hiding? <laughs> On the floor at the threshold of the crypt, a dangerous looking limp suddenly becomes visible and flashes bright blue. With a peal of thunder, two bright golden lions appear roaring with Whoa. anger. Whoa. Beyond the glowing lions stand several stone sarcophagi, at least four, probably more. Can we leave? We're Actually, in. I turn around hiding. and say, Guys, I think I tripped something. <laughs> I agree from the shadows. I don't even say anything. Are these like statuesque uh, lions, or are they like just live lions that also happen to be gold? Or are they like magic lions? I mean, they're magic. They appear. It's funny. Oh, oh, oh! I'm good at handling animals. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around to reassure them, though, that these are just lions. I got this. I lightly fart from the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> In agreement. Okay. Um, what I would like to do uh -huh. is I, well for both, I, right? I would like, since we've gotten all the information we need out, Marie, sorry, it's got to be done. I, have we, though? Are, yeah, we are have. that... I do need to know, are they like living lions or are they statue lions? Or are they... they are statues that have come to life. Okay. Does that count as an animal? It should count as a statue. I'm going to assume it does because I'm kind of dumb. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So what I want to do with my handle animals check uh, is... You should really keep wearing. I like them. I've grown attached to them. I have too. There are two giant golden lion, uh, statues of lions come to life in front of me. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Murray off of my belt loop and rip his face off and offer his face meat to the lion. Your refuse your offer. Where you go, idiot. <laughs> now, we don't even have... Well, I mean, we have I mean, a skull, but... I mean, he's still talking. He's just half a face anymore. Okay. What, what does Murray say to having his face pulled off? What kind of... You're about to get attacked by... Fuck do you, idiot! <laughs> I don't take kindly to his tone and discard the uh, head and slowly back out of the room. Can you, like, slam the door? Oh, no, you kicked it open. It's probably broken. <laughs> <laughs> I reach in to grab Murray and put him in my backpack. There you go. Okay. Murray's so, coming with us. You successfully like put Murray in your backpack. Okay. How far are you back out of the room? I would like to exit the threshold, so I'm back out in the corridor. Okay. Joseph is... Here, mm -hmm. where are the two of you? We're hiding behind him. Oh, uh, we're I'm, we're I'm, like I'm like over here in the alcove. I'm saying. Yeah, I said I was over. Behind Tim, him. where are you? Ten feet behind him. I mean, well, you just picked up Murray, so you're close by. <laughs> yeah, you're like Shit. next door. <laughs> I Tim's here. Reach my arm. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you should run too. Up my yeah, I just I kind of I can't, I can't run up. fast enough. You don't have. I, to. I wouldn't advise running. Trust me, I deal with animals. 
I'd say yeah. jump on Joseph's back. I mean, but roll for jump. I have a minus one jump. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe you don't. You have a minus one everything. All I'm good at is uh, spellcraft, no, he- healing, and that's it. To do some shit. I don't just, I'm just do something. Not trying just to back leave. out. Just leave. try to like, get okay. away. From I, I, I pass a leaving check. <laughs> and I get a three. <laughs> I'm not well, how are you anything. leaving? Are you running? Are you jumping? Are you skipping? <laughs> um, well, Lions running and, and jumping are both really terrible for me. So you know you could do what I did and just kind of slow. Yeah, you can just slowly back without having to roll. Okay, well, let me let me slowly back out then. Okay, the lions are coming after you. What are you both gonna do? Oh God! <laughs> um, you have a higher armor class than I do, so. Don't tell me what to do. It's cheating. Uh, I will continue to back away, but at a slightly accelerated pace. Okay. These are lines and I have a whip. And now, choice. Joseph is here. Joseph is farther back. Joseph is farther back by about 20 feet. Okay. He was 10 feet out of the room to begin with, now he's 30 feet back. Sam, what are you going to do? Fight. Well, well, these are lions and I do have a whip. They're statue lions. You can engage if you wish. Giving them face me didn't work, and I'm pretty sure I'm better with animals than you are. Oh, actually, uh, I have, well, I have, you know, I only have like plus four, but still. <laughs> plus 13. Just shut, just shut up. I have plus five. But I'm hiding, so fuck you guys. <laughs> are there any chairs nearby? No. <laughs> Tim becomes a lion tamer. That's what I was going to do, but no. You have a higher, high armor class. They can... Oh, you should try to intimidate them. Actually, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't listen to me. That gives me an idea. <laughs> um, can can I sense motive for the blind can I? <laughs> trying to kill us? Can I do that? Yes, you can sense motive. I'm gonna, d- does it break my stealth? No. Okay, I'm sensing motive on the lions. Uh, what do you get? Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 22. 22? Yeah. You know that they won't chase you far enough away from the tomb. Ah! So I tell so I tell <laughs> Dougal to hold very very still. <laughs> no, I'm already like thirty feet back. You need to get farther away. I tell I, I tell Doctor Tan this information. Yeah, I'm gonna back up some more. How far are you gonna back up? As far as you will let me. <laughs> <laughs> you back up twenty feet, and you're both six, and the lions stop chasing you at thirty feet. You are one foot away from the lion's mouth. Are I shoot them a bird because so I, that answers my question: Is if they can they see us? Animate. They do not see you nor Troy. Yeah. Okay. They do not see Matt nor Troy or Tristan or what, whatever your name Tristan is. Tristan and Magnus. Magnus. So, wait. They don't see Tristan nor Magnus, okay. but they know that Joseph and Tim both exist, but they stop chasing you at 30 feet. You're both at 31 feet. Are they like the still door. aggressive or are they just kind of like standing They're up? very aggressive. Okay. But like, we're also um, out of is, their range. Is this, yes. the only, so, is this the only hallway? Uh, like This hallway is going, uh, I'm assuming we're going... East, west, which direction? Are we going? Hey, hey, I have an idea. What if we go back out to the front of the tomb, grab one of the like drawings of bodies, and throw it at the lines, see if they do anything? Well, I don't do think that's necessary because okay. I can already answer. They will murder it double time. <laughs> can we, can we double just, like, but maybe our, our ropes can sneak past them and just yeah. whatever. There's I'm going to move silently yeah. past them, seeing as I'm already hidden. Well, I wanted to tell okay. you that my insight well, has let me know that. They're guarding something. <laughs> Meanwhile, I hold out uh, Murray's head in front of the lion so that he can see. You uh, successfully sneak attackers. past the lions. Tristan Silver just snuck past the lions in the two. We <laughs> shout at him. What do you see? <laughs> I'm I'm watching them as I'm sneaking past them, so that they uh, don't like, you know, are alert. Themselves. What do you? I'm going all the way to the door. And you see. This large room, lots of sarcophagi. Mm-hmm. I never knew that. Yeah. These are all sarcophagi, as <laughs> <look> badly <laughs> as <laughs> drawn. I feel really bad that Joseph wasn't here to open all of these at once. Roll a spot check. Sixteen and thirty. Roll a uh, yeah. Roll a search check. Uh, Twenty-seven. You don't see anything. Would Jeez. you like to roll again? Sure. <laughs> Twenty-seven. 
29. Um, you see all the sarcophagi. Would you like to roll again? I <laughs> snick <laughs> myself from the shadows. That's an eat. <laughs> I would like to uh, take a moment. You're not doing it. You don't see yeah, anything. I, I see nothing. I would like to take a moment to use my brilliant insight to let everyone know I'm pretty sure these lions are guarding something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he has now told you that he's pretty sure the lions are guarding something. Well, of, course, you know of course I don't hear him because like, yeah. I'm like 40 you feet know away. What? You know what you should do? Who has a ranged weapon? I have a trident. Can I, if they're stuck in one spot, can I just trident them until yes. they die? I can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I come out from... Oh, hold on. Let me... Do it as a sneak attack. That's what I'm doing. I sneak up. I don't think you even... Well, no, you might hit me in the back. You have two lions, go. Okay, I, I guess I'm rolling two to hit. How do you hit? Uh, hard, hard. 20, uh, 26. Or you 24. hit them. Well, he hits one of them. Oh well, God. you hit one of them. You did fucking terrible, man. How much damage 15. do you deal? 15. It winces. Hey, I mean, I can do this all day. Wait, but it doesn't attack? Like, it's not going to come past that point? Mm -mm. I'm just triditing it until it dies. He's, yeah. he's too far past the point in the line. And, kind and of I haven't tried it. That's if why I, I were to, like, punch it at the threshold, it just, like, <laughs> stretch as far as I can. Would well, I you can hit a five-foot square in front of you. So I would be... Yes. Like yeah. That. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pull <laughs> out my... While I hear them... Unless you're, unless you're in the lion's them. range, it cannot okay. attack you. Well, okay. yeah, then it can attack you because you're within a five foot space. Just use your axe. Yeah, I'm throwing all caution aside uh, and I'm going to attack it with my dwarven war axe. Yes. Well, while they're doing that, I'm going to thoroughly search the uh, inside of the. 17. 17? Mm -hmm. You hit it, and how much damage do you do? I do. Mm. Alright. Mm. Uh, 15. It winces. How much do you do? Fifteen. Where's my... Thirty for search. Okay, it winces a bit. You're doing thirty search. Inside the crypt. Behind mm -hmm. the lions. Yes. I was smart enough to sneak past them. Um, you see uh, that there is... A very... Ornately engraved tombstone. I mean, sarcophagi. Yeah. I think Does it have a... anything that I can pry off? The top is pryable, but it doesn't look like it has been yet. It has a stone top set on top of it. There's probably nothing in it. Go you gave me your crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> I pined for my crowbar. <laughs> I, I, well, well, I already had one, didn't I? Didn't you send me one? Yeah, we all no, have to give it to you. I did oh, give it to you. He still though. gave it to you, though. I did. Oh, yeah, I'm going to roll to pine. Call out. You should. You pine very loudly. Oh, God. The, no, the no, here. no. No, I'm not going to pine loudly. I'm but gonna... luckily, the lions are ignorant enough to realize that they only guard the entrance. There and they're more concerned with the people outside than the people inside. Try to get angry dwarf hitting them in the head. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'm going to roll to hit one of those lions with my heavy mace. What, no, with the crowbar. With the crowbar? You know what? You should just Sam, you with, with Murray. Oh, you're Murray. next to jo Joseph. Wait, roll everyone roll initiative. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like the rum has finally taken effect. You are inside so you don't have to roll I'm initiative. Behind them. I'm Joseph over. is behind Troy. them and now we've entered Troy. into combat because Troy has made the lions angry. So roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, Matt, because you're inside the tomb. Because Tristan was smart and snuck past. 19. 13. 15. 19, 13, 15. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen, thirteen, fifty. Nineteen, fifteen, and thirteen. That's a ten. Joseph, Troy, and ten. Are, are you going? rolling? Yeah. Right? What are you? How do you? It's a D ten plus your initiative. Oh, oh it's D ten. Oh. Yeah, it's a D ten plus your initiative. Ten. Nine. Plus your initiative. <laughs> okay, so, so Troy game. and Joseph and Tim, go. Okay. Roll the hit. 20. 
The lions? Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 No drug DM. You He's him. attacking Tristan. I have who is to know. inside. Okay, I deal. He's attacking. 15 damage to the lion. The lion that's already The lion damage. that is directly in front of me that has already taken 30 points of damage. Okay, 30 and then 15? Yeah, so 45. 45. 45. 45 points of damage, and <laughs> it seems to fairly weakened. I'm going to go ahead and do my second attack. Yeah, so do I hit? Uh, you four, 14 plus all your modifiers? You, you miss. Oh, I whiff a little bit. Tip's turn. I'm going to sit cautiously No, you, on. your turn. Huh? He has a two. Come in here, Don. Oh, for um, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to hit space over Joseph. It's like my human shield. I, uh, did 17. You don't hit it. Damn. Oh, I'm so much better than that. Uh, I rolled a hit it with a, I rolled a hit it with my mace, my heavy mace. So, uh, twenty-one. One. You hit it. Yeah. 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 Ten. So How much damage you did? Six. <laughs> Right. Is there no bonus at all? <laughs> no, because he has neck one to his strength. Six? Is that it? So his neck one yeah. cancels out the plus one bonus. Tim wimpishly thrusts his mace onto the line. I'm so trying to help. So how much <laughs> damage do you do, Tim? Eight. Eight? No, well, six. 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 I'm just trying to help you guys. I want to be part of the adventure. Maybe you should heal <laughs> now us. The lions, <laughs> now the lions attack. But they can't attack us though, right? Because we're at the. They can attack me and right next to them. Yeah, we're Me standing. and Tim and Matt. Never mind, they can't attack. Yeah, Matt's yeah. behind them and you're all in front of them. No, and no. you don't realize Matt's behind them yet because he's sneak attacked. So yeah, I'm not. I'm in the crypt. I'm like 45 feet away from What are you going to do in the crypt, Matt? I said I was going to. I'm just going to sit down right on this crypt. Just okay. wait for us to handle it. <laughs> yeah. Roll a search check. Um, 17. You fail. Eight. Eight. So you still bad. fail. I say so, like, so we just have to keep rolling to yeah. the police So, if I had a turn, I would go first. Okay. They strike the lion so that Tristan can be inside the crypt. To do nothing. <laughs> I'm Obviously, unsearching to pine, things. To pine over crowbars. Yeah, I know. I want uh, that crowbar. I'm, again, just going to double war axe. You should face. call for the crowbar. To you, uh, that's 21. Easy. You hit 21 on the first line. And I do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How much damage do you do? That's what I'm rolling. Uh, 17. Are you cleaving? If it dies. The first line is dead. I cleave. <laughs> Does that count as my second attack or is that separate? Okay, so I get another attack. Uh, that is a 25. I'm assuming that hits since it hit all the other things. Yep. And that also does 17 damage to that one. And now I'll do the second regular attack that isn't a cleave. That one misses badly. That's an 11. Yeah, you miss. So now we're back to me. There is no, a. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, try. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I got like a three. Rolling I'm, I'm rolling to try dent it. Uh, 19. 19 to try. Roll another you don't hit, you check. miss. So it, basically, no. you need to hit a 20 to yeah. hit its armor. Can I roll a search check for every round that they go? Yeah, you can roll a search I'm check. A 30 What's your didn't search you check? Much. Well, I did roll a 30. You said I found a sarcophagus with ornate shit on yeah. it. Yeah, and what do you roll this turn? No, oh, I have to roll multiple. Times. Yeah. You um, roll a 30 to find a sarcophagus. 29. <laughs> you don't see anything there. Awesome. There is a spell. <laughs> Called soften earth and stone. Does that work on statues? Yes. I mean, why don't you just attack them? Yeah, it's not like they're gonna hurt you. I say they, they can't go I'm past. Just, I'm just trying to speed this process yeah, up. I can turn this. Up, I can turn this down, stone stat. I can turn this. I can turn this stone statue into mud, and then he can just like step on it. Yeah. So, Do that. Go. Why did you attack with a mace at all? Yeah. That's not so good. It's it's, it's a five. Plus eight. So it's a thirteen. Damn it! You don't do anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My turn. Again, axes in the face. And you know what? I'm getting tired of this. I'm gonna try to grapple it to the ground. Second search thirty. Your second search is thirty. Yep. I 
found the sarcophagus. What now? You see some cowboys next to the sarcophagus. <laughs> Why the fuck do you have me searching? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a rat how bastard. I, how you're a horrible DM. How and a drunk one. <laughs> how do I go about grappling the statue to the ground and subduing it? You grapple, grapple it. So it's Say okay. you're going to grapple the statue. Okay, I'm going to grapple it. Has, <laughs> it has a grapple modifier, and if you beat it, then okay. you can take it to the ground. Uh, that would be a 33 grapple. That's pretty good. That's an 18. Do I critically grapple? <laughs> Dang. Um... For the lion? Uh-huh. You grapple, gra- grapple, and the last lion is dead. What? Okay. I didn't want to kill it. I just wanted to subdue it. You no, grapple you it to you death. You, de- you grapple <laughs> it to death. The last lion is dead. And you think, never mind. I but start it's dead. crying. I'm very upset. I wanted to soothe it and tell it. You should offer him a rag. Here, here, you want a rag to dry your eyes? I give him the rag. I use the rag to wipe away my tears. Okay. And to wipe myself. Um, since they're all 30 feet outside the tomb, roll a search check. I found more cobwebs. <laughs> 31. Okay, enter the tomb and roll a search check, every one of you. Why can't you just tell us what you found? I found this sarcophagus. He found nothing yet. I, I found this sarcophagus. I, that's a five. I well, seven. Well. What's your modifier? Twelve. Yeah, twelve. Okay, none of you find anything. I'm gonna take a twenty up. and search the room thoroughly, which gives me a thirty-six. One of the bodies in the tomb wears a silver necklace <laughs> set with moonstones worth six hundred gold points. Wait. So you spent all this time in this room, and you just now found the body. You had to open the sarcophagus. I didn't you find. The I didn't open anything yet, did I? Yeah. So I haven't opened anything. Oh, I opened Jesus. the ornate one with much anger. <laughs> Me too. And it, you have a silver necklace set with moonstones worth six hundred gold points. Can we Figure leave out who you're gonna leave it with. Tim. Just Tim's Tim's by the treasure team. carrier. Okay. Yeah. So, are you gonna open any more sarcophagus? Open all of them. No, don't do that. <laughs> I throw a hissy fit and open all of them. No, and their protest. How much was this moonstone bullshit worth? Six hundred. Six hundred gold points. Uh, are you gonna open all, all of them? I yes. use diplomacy well, to keep him from doing that. Roll d twenty. I, I also use diplomacy. Four. And you're attacked by vampires. Yes. Damn it. I think this is a, a good. Yeah. A good time to call the... it until next time. Yeah. How many vampires, just so we know how dire this situation is? I hide. Just... <laughs> just, um... Why did I put more points in a hide? I have a minus... <laughs> uh, my hide is a minus one. My hide is a minus one. Because of pussy. Hey, we have I, saved your life just, uh, with our hiding abilities. Roll, try it, roll again. Wait, what? For what? We're try, rolling to see... Roll. <laughs> just roll. Fourteen. Okay. Um, the vampires disappear. What? what? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> we are all very confused. Our, the our, DM, of- our DM has decided that drunk nonsense has become a uh, quid pro quo. I think it's a good stop. I think it's, yeah, it's a good stopping point. Yeah. Vampires, vampires, vampires that went away and came back and. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop right there. We're surrounded by vampires. I can't possibly join us next time when you see how we resolve this dire situation. I don't know how we're gonna make it out of this. I bet it involves. I bet it involves punching. You better believe it. More magic and uh, standing around and whip whip cracking. So join us for our next exciting adventure of terrible vampire hunters. The three. Okay, everyone. Hi, how are you? How was that? That's, uh... That's about as far as we got for all that stuff. Uh, Amanda got awfully drunk, apparently. And, you know, I guess she just decided to stop (laughs) 
DMing the way that she initially meant to, I guess. But, uh, you know, hope uh, all of you enjoyed that. I know I sure did. Oh, man, my hand kind of hurts now from all that uh, drawing stuff. I wasn't expecting to have to do that. I just had a few, like, pre-made things to show all of you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's probably where I'm going to stop the recording for now. I'll uh, kind of hang around for a little bit, talk to some of you folks, ask, answer some of your questions about what the hell just happened, what you just saw. Uh, I'm sure we'll do this again at some point. We may not finish that actual campaign because there's kind of... I, let's see, we played for, that audio was edited, we played for about three or four hours. I edited the audio down to about what to what you heard, which is about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. In that amount of time, we went one and a half pages through the campaign book, or whatever it is you call it. So, I don't know if we're going to finish that camp campaign or not, but we do, we would like to continue playing d d for all of you wonderful people, so stay tuned on that. Thanks for watching, people that are watching the recorded version of this. Love you all. Bye.